Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. This morning, I am doing a mask. It desperately needs to be washed off. I have had this mask on my face for far too long. It's the new Caudalie Vinergetic C Plus Mask Instant Detox. This is the third time I've used it. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, like this morning in particular, my blackheads were feeling extra congested. And this has been a lovely little clay mask that I have been using. It tightens pores, removes excess oil, purifying clay, coffee, and grape. Excellent, excellent start to the morning. So this morning I am going to get ready with you here in the bathroom. I'm gonna rinse this mask off, I'm gonna put my skincare on, and then let's talk about some makeup. <laughs> Mask is off, skincare is on, and I'm really excited because Dan and I are compiling a little review video. I've been promising this for so long because there's been so many new products, especially base products. So over the last couple of days, we've just been like trying out different things and recording it. He's in here, say hello, Dan. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Foundation. I got this beautiful package in the mail which I'm really excited about. It looks super promising. Um, obviously I will discuss my full thoughts at a later date, but it has the primer as well as the foundation. There's a ton of shades in the foundation. It's really cute actually. It's like a little um, squeezy bottle. It's like this little medicine tube, the foundation. This one's the shade 6N. So I'm gonna be trying this out today. You'll be hearing my thoughts at a later date, but super excited about this one. Danessa Myricks, thank you kindly. Let us go get the shots and then I'll be back once the foundation is gone. <laughs> All right, we've just applied the foundation. Looking pretty good. Very, very full coverage indeed. I'm gonna do my concealer. I wanted to get ready with you guys today showing you my kind of like no mascara makeup that I've been doing lately. I keep forgetting that I don't have a <laughs> mirror in here. <laughs> Whenever I do my makeup when I'm not filming, I just like do it, you know, in the mirror in my bathroom. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna show you just the makeup I've been doing, nothing's really different. I've just not been wearing mascara kind of during the day. Do you guys just like every time, every time I do my makeup, I get little specks of whatever all over my face and it, they're constantly like itching me. I'm picking at it. I'm like, what's, what's going on? I've got three different shades of the Makeup Forever concealer going on. So I'm just applying that where I feel like I need some coverage. I used a slightly more pink one the shade 25 underneath my eyes. And then I also have 22 and 30 that I just kind of mix about. I actually don't, like 30 is the best shade for me when I have um, a tan on. But otherwise there actually isn't a good shade that matches me. Like I had picked up the shade 25, but like, I don't know if it shows in the camera, but it's very pink. Like it's literally like a, like a color correcting color. It's very, very, very pink. Um, so that's not the best when it's like concealing the rest of my face. So I'd love an in-between of like 22 and 30 that's more on the neutral side that I can actually use as a concealer when my skin is uh, not fake tanned. So <laughs> I'm not letting it sit today because I am in a slight little bit of a hurry and I'm heading downtown today. The usual, the usual uh, vlog timeline. Um, I'm heading for brunch with the gals. Today's actually Sunday and I wanted to look a little bit decent exiting the house. So that's why I'm doing my makeup with you. I'm gonna put on the Benefit Professional Spray, let that soak in. I'm gonna fill in my brows. I have my Dior Brow Styler. I had posted on my Instagram actually, I was you know making a, a little comment about my blinking as per usual, but a lot of you are recommending like tubing mascaras, waterproof mascaras. And then also a lot of you recommended getting a lash lift and tint. And I actually have a few friends who have done them. And then there's a few gals here on YouTube that do it. And every time I see it, I'm like, yes. Oh, I'd love to try that. It looks amazing. To be honest, I just need to like find someone who actually does that. If you guys would like for me to test that out and get a little lash lift and tint, I'm happy to vlog the experience. If any of you are in the Vancouver or lower mainland area and you also know someone who's amazing, <laughs> I would love to try it. I'm kind of a little bit scarred with anything from my lashes. I actually feel like in general with like cosmetic things, I've had really bad luck. If any of you remember, <laughs> did I vlog it? I must've included it in the vlog. Do you remember years ago when we went on a brand trip with Kiehl's, we went to Vietnam 
and I had gone to get fake eyelashes put on. I had never done like lash extensions before and I thought it would be amazing because I was like, oh, I'm going to this hot place. I'm super sweaty. I would love to not have to worry about mascara. I'd love to try some lash extensions. And I went, I went the day, it was either the day before or two days before we were supposed to leave for Vietnam. And I woke up the next morning and one side of my lash extensions had completely fallen off. Like I literally went to Vietnam with one eye of lash extensions and the other eye, I was putting mascara on. It was so brutal. <laughs> so I've kind of been a little bit apprehensive about trying anything else with my lashes because I'm like obviously I just have this weird intolerance to things and then the microblading and I don't know I'm just a little bit like ugh nature is telling me to just embrace myself the way I am but I like to play I want to play and try these fun things that people do on the reg you know I don't know what's going on but if you guys recommend a lash lift and tint I'd love to try it I think that would be really fun and fabulous, especially heading into the warmer seasons, not worrying about transfer. For me with my blinking in particular, it's not just like blinking, I'm not blinking a lot. The problem is that I have like this pressure, it's almost like a, like a tension, like a headache, I don't really know, but I'm not blinking out of dryness, I'm like squeezing my eyeballs. It's the most bizarre thing and it's literally been going on for over two years now. It was March, <laughs> March 2020 that it started happening and so because of that, like it's not the mascara's fault. I'm literally like squeezing my eyeballs so tight. And because I do, I do have longer lashes, it just touches, it touches my skin where it wouldn't normally get so low with just regular blinking. So it's been, it's been a really weird, weird little time with me and my eyes. So I don't know. Anyway, there's my spiel. So the brows are done. Now I'm gonna do my cream contour. I'm still using the Huda Beauty. I really take so much of this off because it is so pigmented. And I just apply that onto my cheekbones. I've been placing it a little bit higher, seeing all those TikTok hacks, you know, the little contour lines being like, place your contour higher. I'm like, okay. And I've been doing it since and I've really been enjoying it, honestly. Just doing a really nice, light, like fresh base. I think that's, that's the move for this fine day. And then when it comes to applying the product onto the nose, I've been trying to take so much of the product off, just taking a very little bit and then applying it. And it's still so effective. Like there's still so much product left over there. And just running that down my nose like so. And then usually I take like whatever's left and I kind of just run it along my lower lip. That might seem like an odd little sequence of events, but there we go, the bronzer is on. Next, I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush. This is the Refer 19 brush. And I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and just use that to kind of set all over. I was watching one of Karen's videos, I Love Set E, and she was talking about her methods when it came to baking and setting. And I've just been trying to, you know, I, I feel like I've done it before. And also Melissa Herkman reiterated the fact that in order for baking to work, you need to actually set the face first. So I'm trying to just remember to do that and do a little setting action lightly with the powder before. And then I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and my beauty blender. I dip the beauty blender into the powder, dip it off on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna set that under my eyes. I've been doing this like really just trying to deal with this whole like mascara transfer that I've been dealing with. But also I do get so much movement underneath my eyes and just like from the concealer in general. I'm like down to do this and try it out. It does give you a much more matte look, but when I want my makeup to last all day, it's a nice option. So I've just been like on days like this when I'm not like filming and doing a particular look, I've just been practicing these little things to see how they work in my everyday makeup life. So usually like you can let that sit and like actually bake, but I'm just gonna take the brush and just pat off any of the excess product and then we're all set and ready to rock. Then I'm gonna go in with blush. This is the Persona Bubble Blush. And I just kind of like pat off the excess in the lid and just apply that onto the cheeks. Getting a nice fresh awake pink blush on the face. And when I'm done applying it onto my cheeks, I always take a little bit and just go boop onto my nose. That was a big boop. That was a big, lots of blush boop. Excellent. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of highlight. This is the Dior Nude Glow. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that right onto the top of the cheekbones, a little bit on the nose, and the top of the cheekbone. Next, natural lip pencil on the lips. 
If I'm feeling particularly lazy like I am today, this will be all I put onto my lips. It's really close to my natural lip color, so it kind of just helps to define the lips and add a little bit of extra pigment without looking like I have anything like too intense on my lips. I love it. And then I go over top of that with a little lip balm just to add kind of a glossy finish. This is the Nude Sticks Hydropeptide Lip Butter. I just put that on top. Makes it look like I'm wearing a lip gloss. I'm gonna do some MAC Fix Plus. I honestly, this foundation is feeling really, really dry on my face. It's already caking up on my mouth, so we'll have to see how it wears. But so far, whew, your girl's feeling real dry. <laughs> okay, so that's the makeup. I had actually curled my hair yesterday, so I might just touch up a few of the curls. Yeah, it's fallen pretty flat. If you guys watched the vlog where I showed you my GHD curling iron that had snapped in half, RIP to that, I've just pulled out my good old trusty T3 iron. This was the one that I was trying to, you know, upgrade. I'd been using this for just so many years. It's old, it's squeaky, but honestly, like, it's my old faithful, you know? So I pulled her back out of retirement. She has been reemployed, and this is the middle one. I never remember what size it is. Does it say on the thing? No, there's nowhere like on the actual packaging that indicates what it is. So every single time I have to go and look at what the actual like inches is for this. But this T3 iron itself that comes with three different attachments, it's the middle attachment. So I'm gonna touch up a few of my curls and then I'll get dressed and show you my outfit of the day. So whenever I touch up my curls the next day, I usually just grab my hair and give it a little brush through just to make sure that it's not too knotty. And then I kind of just touch up the top. Like I don't really mind if it's not all perfectly curled. If I'm just doing a little loose, loose wave action, I'll just grab like big chunks on the top. Just do a few more additional curls. And I just try to alternate the direction of the curl that I'm doing. So I just literally like wrap it through, boop, 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 let it sit for a few seconds. Nothing too crazy. And then just unravel it like that. And once you do the top, it just kind of gives a little bit more life and body. If I find that the bottom is like really, really noticeably straight, I'll just literally go in and do the ends. This is my lazy gal hair fixing. <laughs> and then I fluff it all out. Honestly, I'm okay with it. I feel like I don't need dry shampoo, which is a miracle. But that is a really quick little rejuge of my hair. I'm gonna take my Mountain Getz Leather Fragrance, do a few spritzes of this. I love that smell so much. Put on my jewelry. Jewelry is on, makeup is done. That is my little no mascara skin day makeup look. Hair is judged. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll show you guys my outfit downstairs. Okay, here is my outfit for the day. Hopefully you can get a good visual over here. It's gone dark on me, but here's my Nina Bing jacket. I've got a boys light t-shirt, my H&M 90s loose jeans, my toe temp boots, and my old little YSL messenger bag. So there's my outfit. It's pretty cloudy. I don't know if I need to bring sunglasses, but maybe I will, just in case. I'm obsessed with this jacket. I'm so, so in love with this jacket. I can't get enough of it. Hopefully you would have seen this in my little spring clothing haul, as well as the jeans. Very comfy, casual, and loose. And now I'm gonna drive downtown. 12 hours later. Oh my God, you guys, it's 3.15. I just finished brunch. I'm here parked outside of the OEB. We literally sat there for three hours, but honestly, it was amazing. You know, you know how girls chats go over brunch. We were just hanging out, having a grand old time. And now I have very little time to complete the errands I was hoping to complete. I am on the hunt to get a little TV for the dining room nook, which I had mentioned in that dining room table video. And I would also hopefully like to find some stones. I know that's random, uh, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. We're gonna see if we're successful. And then if I can get this done in an hour, I also am getting my nails done at 4.30, which look at this. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but the gel is literally grown out like halfway down my nail. It's disgusting. I literally broke three nails weeks ago. <laughs> 
<laughs> just keep filing it down. Um, and I desperately, desperately need to get this gel redone. So we're heading there at 4.30 and we're gonna see what we can find. Okay, I just parked. I did not vlog myself picking up the TV. Forgive me, it was a lot bigger, and like more awkward to carry than I thought. <laughs> but I just ran to Best Buy, grabbed the TV, and now I'm heading to get my nails done. It has been the most beautiful day and now it's starting to rain. But it's so nice, beautiful day to be downtown. I just came back to the car and someone's waiting for this spot. They literally have their blinker on. I'm like, sir, give me a sec. I got a vlog. Here's my nails. Nice and fresh. Just got the same like hard gel clear little coat on. We're fresh. We're rolling. Oh, good. Okay, I gotta leave now. This guy's staring me down. Okay, next up, before I head home, I've come to Home Depot. The Home Depot. I am trying to find little, ideally little white rocks or some cute rocks to go into the planter with our fake olive tree. We went to the Home Depot that's closest to us and it's got nothing. I'm hoping that this one in particular will have a larger garden center and I can find some more rocks. So that's what I'm here looking for. Wish me luck. So we've got rows and rows of these like paving stones, but like little rocks nowhere to be found. River pebbles. Excellent. Oh my God, we got the rocks. I'm so thrilled. The lady helping me was so nice. She was like, oh, these have been so popular. We just got this new crate in. And she opened up a new crate for me. <sighs> we've got our rocks. We've got our fresh nails, my friends. We're gonna head home and I'll show you what I plan to do with these lovely little pebbles. <laughs> okay, I'm home with my rocks. And let me show you the brilliant, oh, Meryl, hello, <laughs> master plan. Okay. This was actually thanks to many of you. So many of you sent me this reel and this TikTok uh, showing how to make your raised plant look nicer in the planter. So here's Ollie the olive tree with the planter. And I, I followed the reel and I stuffed it with random things, paper, old uh, tablecloths and all of the things to fill it. And I hope that I'm going to put our new Yukon snow rocks <laughs> <laughs> on the top to make it look pretty. So here's the before, there's the tablecloth. There's literally so much crap underneath it, like paper, tissue paper, random styrofoam things to lift this in this giant planter. Let's pour the rocks in and see how it looks. I underestimated how many rocks this would require, so here's the after. Excellent, excellent. It's like half a bag. It, truly, yeah. truly. I, I need at least one other bag to fill it up. Um, but mind you, Dan, Dan said that we could do the uh, cut out a piece of cardboard for it to all lay flat. If we did do that and cut out the hole, yeah, it might work. Do you want to try it? Have a little arts and crafts and cut some cardboard? Okay. So this is Dan's handiwork. Uh, thanks so much, Frame, for the box. <laughs> so this is nice and sturdy. I'm gonna take the stones and lay them on there and hopefully it'll be nice and lifted enough so we will have enough stones to cover it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, that looks great. That fixed it. Like, if you look really closely, you can see the cardboard, but from here, it looks perfect. Excellent. So for dinner, I've already been eating barbacoa beef. This is my little meal prep bin. I put the little rice noodles in there with the barbacoa beef and then broccoli. Let me show you the finished look. This is my barbacoa beef meal prep, how I keep it in the fridge in the Frigidaire, and it's so good, honestly, like. 
can I eat it every day? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, like the macros, the just everything, the flavor. I love everything about it. It's good for you. At least it's good for me and it feels good for my soul. So I've just been nibbling on the barbacoa beef as we've been doing the little planter. Sorry, I was starving when we got home. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Hi, happy day. I kind of left you hanging a little bit yesterday, but today, what time is it? Oh my goodness, it's 3.30. We have just been filming and editing and getting things done. I filmed a little reel on this look. I was trying out a new hairstyle this morning. It's ended up very frizzy, but that's okay. It's been a lovely little productive day thus far and just wanted to check in and show you, because I forgot to show you yesterday, I mentioned that I picked up the frame TV that we had planned to put in the dining room nook, and though we have not yet hung it up on the wall, Dan actually set it up yesterday. It's looking a little bit messy because all the boxes and things are on the cabinet, but I figured I'd show you guys a little look-see at the frame TV, and it's also such a beautiful sunny day. It's actually, you know, that's a lot. It was raining this morning, now it's sunny which is a lovely way to end the afternoon. I think I'm gonna make a little matcha. I don't know. Anyway, let me show you the nook with the TV right now. So here's the dining room in all of her glory. There's the frame TV. So eventually we're gonna be hanging it up. But in order to do that, we're gonna to need to drill a little hole in behind so that we can like have no cables. The goal is to have no cables, no boxes, nothing on here. And it'll just be nice and plain and clean. And there's lots of <laughs> video tutorials that Dan has been watching for that. But this is the dining room as it stands we have it on one of the gallery art pieces right now and yeah ideally we'll be able to like drill a hole through the back of here and just have all of the boxes hidden away so there she is there's the little nook and then also here's a mevil having a little nap Meow. <laughs> Meow. and here's the rocks here's the rocks in ollie the olive tree in daylight they honestly look so good i'm so happy that this turned out so well so there's the little olive tree in the living room totally forgot to mention this little guy here i don't know if this is going to be a permanent fixture but this was actually a gift to us from dan's cousin and his wife that we visited in sweden so that was really really sweet but it's such a cool little funky piece it was so sweet of them so there's ollie the olive tree with her new rocks honestly it made such a difference in the space and here's our lovely rugless living room at the moment. <laughs> it is so incomplete in here at the moment, but I feel like slowly these little pieces are coming together. I have actually, very excitingly, ordered a rug. Speaking of the rug, um, I actually found one on Etsy, but I don't want to give it away yet because I don't know what it's actually going to look like and it's supposed to be delivered sometime in May, so very much later on you'll have an update on the living room but just know a rug has been ordered and i'm really excited to show you fingers crossed that it <laughs> turns out the way it looks in the photos but i'm really excited and yeah eventually we'll figure out final plans for the mantle decor but we just have this like wi-fi extender pod right now and it's super obviously not cute we just need to figure something out i don't know and oh my goodness the side table that we have here <laughs> is actually the piece for our like coffee table and set that we have in the room downstairs in the basement, but we just haven't found a replacement yet. I'm thinking I wanna get something like some stone piece, some travertine or marble or something like Calcutta Viola, a little, a little side table I would love. Still don't know what to do with the palm tree. Anyway, whatever, I could go on. It's, it's not done, but I figured I'd show you those few little updates that we did in this lovely little vlog. So I think I'm gonna make the matcha. I'm feeling a little bit just getting that afternoon slump, you know? Any little afternoon pick me up. So let's make a little latte. I saw who just posted it right now. I think it was Mary. She just posted that she made her matcha in her milk frother. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. Let's experiment and see if it works. <laughs> Give it a little taste test. It's warm. It heated it for sure. I think I need to add some honey. Well, who'd have thunk? Look at that. Matcha latte in a milk frother. I love that. Cheers, fam. Oh, I was not expecting that to be so bright. 
All right, friends. Good evening. <laughs> I'm going to head to bed, friends. I'm reading this book. If I'm going to be completely honest, it's really not great. I feel like I've been reading it for like a month and a half. It might not be that long, but it feels like it's been that long. I will happily be accepting all book recommendations. Thank you so much. Um, my friends, I bid you adieu. Good evening. Happy day. I hope you're having a beautiful day. <laughs> I'll see you all very soon for a new video. <laughs> Bye!